gutted building smouldered after a night of rioting in Tottenham. Firefighters couldn't get to many areas last night because it wasn't safe. One family fled in their pyjamas and have returned to find their home has been destroyed. Police riot vans line the high street. Burnt out police cars sit in the road. People come to examine them, others take photographs. A double-decker bus has been reduced to a tangle of metal. The moment it exploded last night was caught on camera. Rioters attacked police cars with missiles before setting three of them alight. The police face mask used throwing stones and fireworks. Mounted officers were used to try to break up the crowds. Several police officers were injured. The residents say there was looting. Kids doing the rioting were mostly young young men. Um, the people doing the looting seemed to be, you know, much older people. They were queuing up. The cars were queuing up, filling themselves up with televisions, anything they could get their hands on. The rioting followed a peaceful protest march earlier in the day. People were angry about an incident on Thursday when armed police shot dead a local man, Mark Duggan. The exact circumstances of what happened are being investigated by the Independent Police Complaints Commission. Relationships between the wider community and the police locally are very good. Um, people do business on a daily basis uh, and people live their lives uh, in, in a peaceful way. So, you know, there's really nothing to underpin the level of sort of violence that we've seen. But one local youth worker said many people do feel a sense of grievance. But there is a sense that the police are not for us, and that has manifested even more so in 2011. As we saw now, the trigger was a young man being killed. The local MP, David Lamy, has called for calm saying the scenes currently taking place in our community are not representative of the vast majority of people in Tottenham. Those who remember the destructive conflicts of the past will be determined not to go back to them. The Home Secretary, Theresa May, has condemned the violence and said it won't be tolerated. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.